Hi, this is Rob Shore, Director of Global Technical Sales for Corient. In this video, what I want to do is take a look at a networking concept called Optical Express. We'll look at what Optical Express is and some of the benefits that Optical Express capabilities can bring to a transport network. So, what is Optical Express? Put very simply, Optical Express is the ability to take an optical signal and traverse a location purely in the optical domain without having to electrically regenerate that signal at all. So if we take a look at a simple example, I've got three locations, A, B, and C. And what I want to do is take information from location A and transmit some of it to location B and some of that information all the way to location C. So to start with, of course, I'm going to need an optical line system and I'm going to need interface modules to generate those signals and transmit them across the network. Now I want to do this over a single pair of fibers, so I'm going to use dense wave division multiplexing to transmit those signals in multiple different colors of light use a filter to aggregate those signals and put them onto a single fiber. Now as those signals traverse the network, they want to arrive at location B, and of course the signals I want to terminate at location B, I will terminate those directly to an interface module at that location. But the red signal here that I want to actually traverse location B and end up at location C, right, if I don't have an optical express capability, I'm going to need to terminate that traffic at location B and regenerate that and then launch it off for location C. This is going to involve buying the interface modules, all the lasers, and even getting the traffic from one interface module to the next. So without Optical Express, getting that signal from location A to location C can actually be quite expensive. Right? I have to buy all the interface cards, all the lasers, all the equipment to make that signal get through the network. So you can see where Optical Express can be very helpful in these types of applications. With Optical Express at location B, I'm going to take that signal and pass it optically through that location. I'm not going to terminate it. I don't need to buy any of that equipment. Right? And essentially it's going to end up costing significantly less to send that signal through. Right? Because I don't need to buy any of that equipment. But it's not even just a matter of being able to send that signal through optically. It also has a, a significant implications on the scalability of the network. Because when I send that signal through electrically, and I buy that equipment, the equipment that I buy and the amount of money I need to spend is going to be based on the speed of that signal. Right? I'm going to spend a certain amount for 10 gig. If I want to do 100 gig, that's going to be even more expensive, 200 gig even more expensive than that. Conversely, with Optical Express, I'm actually passing the wavelength through. I'm just passing the optical light through. And Optical Express doesn't care what the speed of the signal is. Whether that signal is 10 gig, 40 gig, 100 gig, 200 gig, it doesn't matter. I can send any optic signal through and it's exactly the same amount of money. Right? So not only does Optical Express save you money initially, but it's going to make the network much more cost effectively scalable because as I increase the speed of the services on my network and as my network grows, Optical Express doesn't cost one penny extra. Right? So of course this is now a relatively simple network example of just three locations. But these impacts, these effects and benefits of Optical Express, they actually are augmented in these much larger networks. As the network grows, you have more locations and more sites and uh, more bandwidth. The benefits of Optical Express become even more pronounced. So now in this network, right, I've got a core network, a metro, an edge. If I want to take traffic from one of these edge locations and send that back to the core, to an internet peering point or something, right, I have all of these new nodes, all of these additional locations that I need to traverse. So without Optical Express and an electrically expressed based network, I need to buy equipment at each and every single one of these locations. So not only does it just cost more to traverse a node, but that additional cost is now amplified by the number of locations in the network. So you can see how a, a network without Optical Express, the cost of that network can really quickly grow out of control. But it's not just the capital expense of this, right? Because not only do I need to buy the equipment at these locations, I actually have to send people out there to install them, to plug the cards in and to connect all the fibers to them. So not only is Electrical Express much more expensive, it's also dramatically more operationally intensive. Many more people, and it's going to take much longer to turn this service up because of all the sites I need to visit. If we look at the same network now with Optical Express capabilities, in Optical Express I only need to go to the endpoints to turn that service up. Right? I'm only going to install things at the endpoints and all of these intermediate locations, that traffic just optically expresses. There's no additional equipment required. So of course again the savings that Optical Express provides, that's also going to be amplified by the number of locations in the network. So as the network grows, you're going to save more and more and more money. And then also on the operational side, again, I only need to send people to the end points of this network. All of the stuff that happens in between, that can all be remotely provisioned with a management system that'll send the commands out and provision those services through those intermediate locations. So all of that can be done remotely.
So even that, with a manually provisioning of each node, you can see how much more quickly and, and more operationally efficient it'll be to turn up services. But it's not just the ability to send individual provisioning commands to each of these locations. The network management system, because it's all software and remote commands, it can enable significant amounts of additional automation to the network as well. Now I can turn these services up. I can do this with a single provisioning command where you tell the network management system to interconnect between those two locations, and it'll do all of the provisioning of all of the intermediate locations automatically. So you can have dramatically improved automation in the network. So even further reducing the operational effort and increasing the speed of service activation. So, but that's just turning up services. Optical Express also provides another benefit to network reliability and network resiliency. Because I can steer the direction that these signals take through the network remotely, if I have a network failure, I can restore service around that network failure by simply sending commands from the management system to steer that wavelength down an alternative path. Now I can restore services from network failures without even sending a single person to any location. I can do it all remotely. And what I just showed you is essentially somebody sitting in a network control center identifying a failure, calculating a new route, and then provisioning that new route down an alternative path. That by itself is much faster. But there's even a number of mechanisms to automate that process, right? Things like control plane or SDN that will automatically detect the failure, automatically calculate a new route, and automatically provision the service down that new path. They can do all of that automated without any human interaction at all. In fact, in many cases, that can be done in less than 50 milliseconds. So again, what you have essentially right, is Optical Express providing this massive economic benefit by not having to buy all this equipment at these intermediate locations, dramatically simplifying and, and accelerating service activation times. Right, It's going to make it much easier and faster for me to enable new services. And then on the resiliency side, not only do I get the benefit of being able to have restoration, but it also has another very profound impact on service reliability. Because if you actually look at the primary cause of failures in a network, usually when I ask people what the cause of failures in a network are, what the primary cause of failures are, usually people tell me things like uh, fiber cuts or equipment failures or software failures, but that's not even close. Th those aren't even a close second to the primary cause of failures. The primary cause of failures in a network, it's actually people human interaction with the network, people making mistakes and bringing traffic down. It far outweighs any other source of failures in a network. So if you're looking to improve reliability in your network, the number one way to improve reliability in the network is to minimize the amount of time people need to interact with the network, to physically touch it or make uh, uh, provisioning changes to the network. And if you think about what Optical Express does, by having only, being able, only having to send people to the endpoints, and then not only remotely, but automating provision of those services through the network, it's dramatically reducing the amount of times and the number of times people need to interact with the network. And that by itself is going to dramatically improve service reliability in the network. And that's on top of the ability to restore services remotely around failures. So these are really the three primary aspects and benefits that Optical Express provides. And now the idea here is I can now turn up services anywhere in my network very rapidly between any locations by just going to the endpoints, plugging in cards, and turning up services. But even all of this is only based on building the network the way you build it today, turning up services between the same locations you always do. But there's an even more profound impact that Optical Express can have on the network. And it can change the fundamental philosophy you use in architecting that network. And the idea is that what Optical Express really does is it fundamentally eliminates or minimizes the impact of physical topology in terms of where you put your resources. Essentially, what it enables me to do is to think about every location in my network being adjacent or logically adjacent to every other location in the network. Everything essentially now is only one hop away. So if I think about a network with this type of physical topology, I've got all these connections and links and the spider web of stuff, and what I really want to do is create a logical topology out of this where I have a couple hub nodes, uh, right, I have a couple hub nodes and aggregation nodes, and I want to connect the network in a logical fashion like that, this becomes a trivial exercise in a network with Optical Express. Because if I take a look at this section over here, right, let's say 13, 15, and C, and I want to connect those together, I want to aggregate 15 and 13 onto C. Even though if I look at my physical topology over here, I can see 13 and 15 are actually far away from C. But this is a trivial exercise in an Optical Express network, because I can emulate that logical topology on this physical network by just plugging in the equipment I want at 15 and 13, and then I optically express that back over to C. 
and all of these are now directly connected, and it takes virtually no operational effort and costs almost nothing at these intermediate locations. So this is the idea, is that uh, what Optical Express does is almost eliminate physical location as a restriction for connectivity in the network. The net result right now is I can actually take critical resources in my network. It doesn't matter where I put them. Right? I have these uh, devices that provide services to people, aggregate, do subscriber management. It doesn't matter where those are anymore. Right? I, can, I can much more centrally locate those and get better economies of scale, a more overall efficient network. And I can locate those anywhere in the network because the distance from those services to any destination in the network with Optical Express is basically one hop. So again, you end up with fundamentally significantly more flexibility on where you put those critical resources. On top of that, of course, because you can put your critical resources anywhere you want, it also makes it easier to move those critical resources. So if I start off with providing services from one location and I, I run out of space or I find another location somewhere that has uh, better rent or lower power costs or better tax implications, I can move my critical resources to that new, more cost-effective location and then reconnecting all of these end locations to that new source location becomes, again, a relatively trivial activity in an Optical Express network because I can just re-steer those wavelengths to that new location. And again, operationally it's simple and all the intermediate locations I traverse basically doesn't cost anything. And there's one other interesting aspect that Optical Express brings to a network and it's this idea of adding new connectivity paths. If I have a new location that I want to add to a network, all I need to do is take that location and connect it anywhere on the network, and I now have access in virtual, logical, direct connectivity to any other location in the network. Not only can I get traffic to and from this location anywhere else in the network, by just plugging in cars at the endpoints and steering the wavelength, as I add additional paths to the network, I'm actually improving the reliability of the network, because this now becomes an alternative path for signals to flow through and I can use them for restoration of new services. So if I have failures, that now becomes a new alternative path for those signals to traverse in the network. Right? So really, just to summarize and take a look at everything we've talked about, Optical Express, what is it? The ability to optically traverse these intermediate locations purely in the optical domain. And of course, we've seen how that impact and the benefits Optical Express provides is amplified the bigger the network is, the more number of locations, the more bandwidth you have on the network. Right? And we've seen the benefits that it can provide from a cost perspective, a capital perspective, from an operational perspective, the impact it'll have on service activation times, enabling you to much more rapidly turn up services, and of course the impact it has on network reliability, both in mesh restoration and in the minimizing the amount of time people touch the network. And then we've also taken a look at the philosophical changes right, that Optical Express can enable, enabling you to, to re-architect and rethink about the overall network architecture, enabling much more efficient architectures in being able to provide services all the way throughout the network. So this is basically comes to the end of the Optical Express uh, video here. This is just talking about the concept of Optical Express. Uh, if you're interested, we have other videos that talk about how one goes about enabling Optical Express in the network, what are the kinds of technologies, techniques, and even some of the challenges of enabling Optical Express, uh, and other videos specifically on how Corient goes about integrating some of those technologies in our solutions to enable Optical Express not only in the core of a network, but even really closer to the edge of the uh, metro networks. So if you have any interest in any of those videos or want any more information on any other Corient products or solutions, uh, please visit us at Corient.com. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching.